if you're anything like me, you like to do a lot of stuff. You have a lot of interests. There's a lot of things you want to do. It's kind of that if you win the lottery, you know, what are you going to buy? And you're going to buy everything. And that's why most people that win the lottery go broke. And so it becomes important to prioritize. So today, what I'm going to talk a little bit about are my three primary priorities in retirement. Um, but before I get into that, I just ask that you take a moment to subscribe to the channel. And that you, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if there's somebody you think you can use this information, please share this information with them. Uh, the goal is to get this information out to as many people as possible. So something that I say may resonate and help somebody either make the decision to retire, start to look at retiring, or at least starting to put together a plan or figure out how to center themselves once they've become retired. Um, you know, I'm 52 years old. I retired uh, about six months ago and I love every minute of it. But what I did find is that I had to prioritize my time because the fact is I felt like I won the lottery at my time and tried to do everything. And what you find is when you try to do everything, you end up doing nothing. So let's get into it. Uh, my three priorities in retirement. Number one is my health. In my personal circles, one of the things I tell all of my friends is that if you don't have yourself, then none of the rest matters. And if your health is deteriorating, then you're going to spend all of your time in the doctor's offices, taking medications and doing all those types of things and no time really enjoying your time. And, you know, there's some things that are going to happen that you can't control, but that's one of the reasons that it benefits most people to retire as early as possible. Why work five more years and find yourself in bad health or why not take care of yourself when you can so then when you do retire, you're, uh, you're able to enjoy those years. So an example is my mother. My mother's 80 years old. She actually turns 80 today. And ever since I was in my 20s, she would take aerobics classes and she had the little steps in the living room and she had VHS tapes. Yeah, I'm still old. I'm, I'm old enough to remember VHS tapes. She had VHS tapes and would do aerobics. But from the time I can remember, she would do that. And so now, as she's gotten older, she still walks about five miles a day. And she gets she gets after it. And recently, she developed arthritis a couple years ago and had to get her knee replaced. But her recovery time was better. Uh, and she's back walking her five miles a day. But none of that would have happened had she not prioritized her health sooner. So even if you're not a year or two or right on the cusp of early retirement or retiring, take care of your health. Uh, the CDC recommends 150 minutes a week. That's about 30 minutes a day. Um, that could be 30 minutes a day of walking. That could be 30 minutes a day of lifting weights. That could be 30 minutes a day of whatever it is. And I like to say that my, my playing golf, that's four and a half hours of walking. Uh, so that satisfies that requirement. But I also try to, I have friends that I go and take walks with, um, and I, and I try to exercise on my, with my exercise bike a couple of times a week just to get the blood going. And I, I try to lift a little bit of weight. But I don't spend a lot of time. I go in for about, I, I target 30 minutes. I think I'm usually about 45 minutes when I'm actually in um, lifting weights and things like that. So it doesn't have to be, if you, if you try to go overboard, then you're going to burn yourself out and you're going to stop. And you'll be like most of the people, when anybody that goes to the gym, in January, we'll tell you that it's filled up with people with New Year's resolutions. And then by March, the gym is wide open because people burn themselves out because they went too hard to the paint. So this way, just find something that works for you. Even if it's just saying, I'm going to walk around the house for 30 minutes, because that's more movement than you would have perhaps gotten otherwise. Number two, my time. When you like a lot of things and you have a lot of time, you have a tendency to do a lot of things, but other people then find that you're free. So you start getting invited to more things. People, you start to become subject to other people's priorities. People need your help with things. People want to spend their time with you, which is fine, but you always want to make sure you take time for yourself. I always say you want to guard your time and set, you know, I know we talk a lot about uh, boundaries, but you want to set boundaries in this time because this is the time that you only have that time there will no there will be no other time that's like this time right now because time is a i don't know what the i don't know what the appropriate term is 
but it's a, it's a non-renewable resource. So once you use the time, it's gone. Now, if that fills your cup and you want to spend your time doing those things, by all means, do it. But you should never allow yourself to get to the point saying, I'm doing this, I don't want to do it, and it's a waste of my time, or I don't feel good doing it. Because, folks, if you do that, then that time is lost. And if you think about it in terms of you only have so many Christmases left, you only have so many times that you can drive to your friend's house, you have only so many times you could do fill in the blank, now what you've done is you've taken away the opportunity to do that. And so that's why I put a second priority uh, on time. You have to own your time. Don't let your time own you. And, and especially don't let others own your time. And my third and final priority, and again, these are in no particular order, is my relationship with my wife. I want to make sure that my wife and I have a great relationship. You know, like many of us, this is my second time around. I learned a lot about myself. I learned about my tendencies and relationships. Uh, I like to think I'm a, I'm a great husband and a, and a, and a great person, and, but we've all made different types of mistakes in terms of how we communicate with others and so on. And so this is the opportunity to build a strong bond, to live life with a partner that as I age and we both need different things. We could we could help each other and we could share those experiences. You know, one of the most satisfying pieces of my day is sharing my experiences with my with my wife. Now, if I look at myself when I'm 95 years old, now not only am I sharing the experience of the day, I'm not talking about how close I hit the ball to the hole on on a, on a, on a par five and almost got eagle. I'm talking about a whole lifetime of experiences. I'm talking months and years and, and, and things like that. But it's but in order to get to that point, there's little stepping stones. And I really want to take the time for those stepping stones because it's easy to get caught into a whole bunch of other stuff and forget what's happening at home. So, again, this wasn't meant to be an incredibly long video today. But I did want to share with you, and I thought it was critically important for you to understand at least what my priorities are. Because I think these are these are lessons or laws or rules. They don't just help you in retirement. These help you in life. These help you with on a day to day basis. You know, part of when we get burnt out, we don't get burnt out doing things that we love doing or that are filling our cup. We get burnt out from that stuff that we really don't want to do or that stuff that's difficult. And if it and, and so you know, so it's important to have priorities in life. But it's but when you get, are retired, it becomes even more important to have those priorities because there's more things that can invade that that space and time. So I hope you have a good rest of your day. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Um, if you're finding this content on my channel helpful or meaningful in any way, please hit that subscribe button. And until the next time we talk, have a good rest of your day. Thank you.